Es que está ahí. And welcome back to your one unboxes. Something says. And decks are neck like boxes. I am just fine, and here we are unboxing some more Blitter Skies content. I guess is what you could say. These are different colors. Again, weirdness. I'm um, this one. You go over here. Go over here. I'm just trying to get one of these guys out because they're fifteen dollars, but same price as these guys. Uh, I have completely forgotten the pricing on the aces. Well, I think the aces are around. Uh, they're between fifteen and twenty, or fifteen and thirty. I know that for, I know that for a fact. They, they're they're half or even a third of the cost of the de of the actual squadrons, which is good because they should be. But yeah, um, I got some aces because why not? They were on sale. And they have different aircraft to what I to what I already have, as you can see. These are the planes I have: a Mustang, a Yak One, a Zero, um, and then uh, and then the Korean War jets. And yeah, I guess first off, let's do an American. Which American should we do first? A P fifty one Mustang American or or. Corsair. Let's do P-51 Mustang American. Excuse me. No, this be the last of the haul that I got from uh, from Warlord Games. Straight up, George Petty was the top scoring Mustang pilot and was ranked 6th overall among the U.S. Air Force Aces with a total of 27 air victories despite suffering from a hangover on this August 6th, 1944, Petty shot down 6 enemy fighters in the course of one mission, earning in a distinguished service class, geez, which is just uh, one or two medals below the Medal of Honor, which is insanely hard to get. Now though, in World War II it was much easier to get than now. Uh, Medal of Honor's ha Medal of Honor um, awards have been really going down since Vietnam. Although they're going back up recently, with you know Trump giving out more Medal of Honors, I think they're starting with Trump uh, starting to give out more or Trump started giving out more, more Medal of Honors. I don't know what Biden's going to do, but anyway. Which sucks because there are people doing Medal of Honor. People still doing Medal of Honor worthy actions, it's just that no one's giving them out anymore uh, for some reason. Well, this is kind of hard to open. Gotcha. Get real. I was holding tank. That would have been bad. That would have been bad. And let's do. Oh, let's just read them all first. Unbox them and then, uh, or, and then we're all, and then we'll unbox them at the same time after we unwrap them. Next up is my Japanese ace. So that, so that was George Petty of the Mustang. This is Kinti, uh, Kinti Yoshi Moto, I believe. Probably not close. And he is uh, the Shinkai. Oh, that's an E? That looks like an I. Okay, I, I see. I see the little pigs with the E. Um, Kinti Yoshi, more or less. Kinti Yoshi was the first era of victory in China. Uh, has ha, uh, hit. okay. Ken Yoshimoto scored his first aerial victory in China on December 1947 and became an ace at the end of the following year.
At the opening of the Second, Wo uh, Second World War, uh, Moto fought across the Philippines, Solomon's Islands, to obviously a new Guinea. He flew alongside Sabo Saki, close enough, I think, uh, and two in, in Iwo Jima, who called him the toughest fighter pilot in the Imperial Navy. In December 1940, 1944, Moto was sent to the Japanese home islands to defend against the B-29 Super Fortress attacks, flying the powerful N-1KJ Shin, uh, Shinden, Shiden, more or less. He finally fell in combat in July 1945 with between 29 and 35 victories, including four B-52s. Wow. Okay. They're still trying to shoot down B-52s. I didn't realize they were. I didn't realize they could. Constant shipping. Next up is Walter Butcher's German a uh, German ace in the uh, Junkers 88C. Walter Butcher's flew in one one tens and with C with CG seventy six in the early phases of the war, scoring ten victories in aerial battles over France, Britain in 1940. Butcher's unit was made into a new night fighter squadron incorporating Junkers 88C heavy fighters um, for defense of the for defense of the Reich the Reich Reich uh, late in 1941. Uh, Butcher's didn't come didn't score his first nocturnal victory until March 1943. His tally rose swiftly after that, including several American foreign and heavy bombers, butchers, or, or borchers. Victories rose to 47, uh, 46 in total by March 1945. Shortly after climbing his 46, I mean near Ant, um, Ant, uh, Altenburg, I believe. He was shot down and killed by RAF Mosquito Knife Fighter. Oh, this is gonna be easy because it's shipping. And they don't know the. Pa oh, it's just open. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, that was a little too easy. Yeah, this is just a little too easy. This has been sending for a while in the warehouse, probably. Philip Kirkwood? Kirk, uh, Kirkwood? U.S. Ace Pilot. Philip Kirkwood. Jersey born Philip Kirkwood won fame to become an ace in a day during the famous aerial victory around Okinawa in April 1945. His is aerial armada of kamikaze uh, aircraft attempted to overwhelm the U.S. fleet. Kirkwood personally accounted for six enemy aircraft often diving into flag from U.S. Navy vessels under attack in order to prevent kamikazes from making their final dive. Kirkwood was awarded the U.S. Navy Cross for his heroism on that day and survived the war with a total of 12 victories. Come on, come on. Now oh, this is one of the hard ones. Ah, come on. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Got it from the side. Oh yeah, look at that. That's that's a thing. All right. 
I guess let's do them in reverse order, by the way, to the sides. Again, packing could be better, could be a lot better. Ah, the aces come with full stands, okay. But the polyrigo paints don't, weird. Oh, middle, okay. Best pack this? Uh, uh, okay. I mean, it could it could use more packing than that. Want to also pack this? Ah, this one back. Door front. So you can use as a normal plane, you can use as a normal fifth plane or as a named character. I guess. Oh, really heavy too. I mean, it's it's a it's a Corsair. The wings are supposed to be bent like this, with the little rockets too. Yay! And actually, we're like the Corsair model. It's not that bad. Uh, it's not that bad. Okay, those are just flashes. Okay, we can fix that easily. Okay, Corsair's not that bad. Heavy though. And no cards. I thought I thought they came with. Oh no, they didn't come with cards. It looks like only three. Oh, that one. That one actually wasn't badly placed. That one kind of was. Oh, you're big. You're risen. Come with extra large base? I guess not, because you're not middle. I guess only the middle bases do that. Hey, come on. Intriguing. Decal sheet. Nope. 
<laughs> okay, well, I thought the cards were going to be far worse than this. All right. The, the cards are actually not bad. I don't know what kind of metal this is, so I'm being cautious in case it's lead. Unkers. These are the same, but it doesn't matter. Am I showing you one? I'm not showing you one. Same on the other side. Again, you got a blank one in case you don't feel nice. Yeah, weird. The bigger, uh, the bigger, the bigger uh, heavy fighter doesn't have the friggin'. It doesn't have it, it doesn't have the uh, big ring, but the middle ones do. Interesting. Also, this one doesn't have the packed by you at all. I don't think. I also missed it. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, the packaging, but that's fine. Okay, whereas it's not bad, it has a nice feel to it. And honestly, it's a bit better than the uh, plastic that it should be. At least it's not all bendy. Actually, it's a lot, it's actually better than the metal because it's not bendy. I wear it. If all of them were like this, I would. I would actually rec I would actually recommend buying the uh, the models for this. Because it does have that. Okay, that's just a mark, but you're gonna be able to paint over right there. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. All good detail. Oh, fail. Oh, and, 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 and. oh no, we got one. We got one. And uh, again, better once before. Japanese ace time. Oh, that's really, that's really, there you go. Oh, everything's gonna fall out. Oh, it's metal. How do I know this? Because it's an extra large, it comes with an extra, it comes with a thing. Because it's just a, okay, put it over there. Uh, that's just, that's the mold for the, oh, uh, that, that's the thing for this. Put that right there, we gotta put you back in there. Oh, no you don't, no you don't, yes you do, no you don't, yes you do, okay, never mind, F I'll fix it later. Oh. Back by boss. Four ass, either one. Uh, put that right there for now. Oh, whoops. Back to the bendy. We, we escaped it for a little bit. It's heavy though.
Oh, yes. Where's your, where's your little thing? Okay, so I ended, I thought I ended the recording, so I tried to hit start up again, and it turns out that it didn't end recording. All it did was uh, flash off for um, reasons. Uh, for because I moved my hand in behind the rangefinder or viewfinder. I mean, what do you want for a Japanese plane? War for the lot. Just gonna hang out here. Ooh, bendy, more bendy. Okay, so it's generic. Oh, it's way down there. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's way down there. Hold on, let's move the light. Let's move the light. Yeah, that box. Oh, what I do? Last but not least, Mustang Ace. Plastic! Okay, I guess the other ones are old. There's a different tree. Oh look, it comes with two. Uh, uh, two, uh, two generics, or a generic one, and, uh, and a main one, and only one of these. Yeah, it's, ac uh, it's actually a bit thicker. Uh, oh, that could have been bad. That could have been bad. Guns with non reusable bag, unfortunately. The only one that does, weirdly. It's just another Mustang. Just like that. I'll, look, I'll show you that. I'll show you that in a second. It's 
so it must be newer. I would think. And now let's play a game of which one's the ace? You can actually tell if you're looking close enough at my fingers, the ones that are hiding up the uh, ones that are hiding up the thing, but you can't tell. You really can't tell. Ah, uh, maybe. No, they're no, they're the same. Which part were the ace on the left? As you can see, if you look at the bases. So yeah, by far, only ace, only ace really worth getting is any any of the heavy fighters aces because they're resin and they're nice and you know they don't they're not bending. Oh, this one is this one bending? No, this one just says flash. This one just says extra, extra bits uh, from from the mold process. Yeah, no, it's the cars. Like, I didn't reverse order what we just did. Um, by the way, just to show you. Oh, everything else is nicer. The plastic isn't nicer, though. Because the metal you can bend back, the plastic you can't. As you can see, the George Petty, uh, the, uh, the George Petty was on the right. Now, that's much nicer, but when you come with an extra one. Um, but everything else isn't. Oh, well, I guess that the uh, I guess that these this is ah uh, no they're basically the same. No, this one's nicer because it comes with more of them in different sizes. I think the middle ones are nicer, and the rest one's the nicest. Is that the same as in the Mustang? Um, probably is. It's probably the same as the Mustang. Well, let's go look at the Mustang. No more Mustang? No more Mustangs on the left. There is no difference. So getting on to George Petty's Mustang in case in case you didn't watch the uh, last video. P-51D uh, Mustang. The P-51D Mustang, all but supplanted other types of fighters used by USAF 8th Air Force in Britain. By, 19, by May 1945, Mustangs have flown 213,873 quarters over Europe and claimed 4,950 kill, uh, 50 aircraft destroyed. Which, of course, of course, I can think that's obvious. Uh, the Mustang supplanted all types of fighters in the 8th Air Force because, unlike the P-48, only the P-38, it was cheaper, roughly four times as cheaper. Um, and it was, um, and it got the job done better. It was faster, higher up, had much longer range due to its extended gas tanks, which you can't dogfight in if you're a full fuel and get your simmer. And uh, yeah, if you're a simmer, remember with the Mustang, don't take full fuel when you want to dogfight right off the uh, right, right away. 
you only see fuel fuel, 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 fuel simulating coming from England across the channel to, uh, uh, to, uh, to France. But anyway. Ace pilot, George Fetty. Single engine fighters only. That means he could go into Corsair. Uh, signature tray, that, plus one. A skill card, snapshot, dive, master, pilot skill five. Snapshot. Deflection shooting was an art of some aces. Some ace, it was an art some aces excelled in. On a friendly ace during their activation, and if the ace makes a deflection shot, it cannot be dodged by using speed. Only agility plus pilot skill. Oh jeez. They see you have to out. Basically, the the other ace or the or the generic pilot has to out ace the ace. Good luck with that. But then again, there are dice rolling. Dive Master, aces were very adept at ensuring they in, into the flight with the height advantage on their side. And an ace on an ace turn when burning this uh, a burning when burning advantage to dive. Meet the pilot test for the ace if successful. No advantage is burned for diving oh geez. Which is good for a Mustang. Great dive. Place of inch in lower in lower drag meant they could die faster. Yeah. And then these are just deep pockets for bullets. Next up, uh, let's do you. I'm curious how the how co compares to Yaks because of me with the Yaks. Oh come on! I I I understand that the packaging's damaged. I don't understand how the car got damaged. That sucks. Because one of the things I really like about this game is the, the art design of the cards. And yeah, this 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 that. Yeah, no, you can see it on camera easily. Yeah, no, uh, that's really bad. The N1 K1 J Shiden Kai single engine fighter, two firepower, two agility, two seven. Seven uh, speed, tight turn, heavy hitter for quality. So if anything, this is going to be able to keep you with the Jets and the Mustang. Yeah. Instead of the X, I don't think the X can. Where's the X? Yeah, it's better than the Yak. Doesn't have as much um, agility though, but it has more stretch. Yeah, it's better than the Yak, just barely though. And it kind of should be. Uh, but let's read the history of the Cheating Yak County, because I have no idea. Just put the cards anywhere. The N1K2J. Sheeting high, violet, light, violet lightning, like purple lightning, began like humbly as a naval float plane fighter. Then came one Kofu. Or Kofu, one of those. Land based version of the NK 1 produced was agreed to be one of the finest dogfighters of the war. Initially, defects in the NK 1 Sheeting were fully addressed in the NK in the M1 K2 J Kai modified. Version by nine uh, by 1944. The Kai had a heavy cannon arm and it was noted for its excellent turn characteristics. It struggled as an effective bomber interceptor due to the modest climb rate and altitude performance, but the hands of an experienced pilot you could take on the latest American fighters like a Hellcat and the Corsair. Indeed. Ah, that's where that card went. Maybe you go here. There was there was one. At least Nah, I just went anywhere. You spot? Show your trait plus one. 
the thing has pilot skill. Um, a shield character is stuck with Blackout Master. Can take heavy G's. And no G suit. Um, single your fighters only. Moto. What's the back of an ace card look like? I'll tell you a brief history of the ace, which I think we read on the back of the thing. We did indeed. Tough. Aces were often as rugged as their aircraft they flew, in reaction to an ace being hit by shooter. No boom crits caused when they went by the hit if they stuck to the OGs. Excuse me. Ace skill. Oh, that's what ace skill looks like. Okay. Oh, hello. Blackout Master. Well, that was, uh, Mari. An ace can push himself and aircraft to the limit, or past it, in this case. Uh, on a friendly ace during their activation, make a maneuver test. If any success with the score, the ace may turn up to 90 degrees in the, uh, during its movement instead of 45 for their movement. Jeez. Jeez, guys. Jeez. Ace kill. Poor quality. Heavy hitter. Tight turn. Okay, so, uh, so they don't make unique stuff for, I mean, they can make unique traits for different aircraft, but each aircraft can share traits with another, like, for example, this sh sh shares a lot of traits with the MiG. Uh, with the MiG-15. Poor quality, rush development, and poor manufacturing practices held back many innovative designs and scenarios where the where a die roll is made to starting advantage. Deduct one from the roll for planes of this type. How oh, juice. Tight turn. A lightweight airframe and large wings allow the plane to turn better. On a plane with this trait during movement. The plane may take no more 45 degree turn at any point or its movement no, just at the end. Oh, that's going to be fantastic for an ace that can turn 90 whenever he wants. So is it 90 on top of 45? Which then he can start doing 360s. Or is it just, uh, or is it just, uh, or is it just 90? I think it's just 90. Heavy hitter, heavy cannon armament, ex ex uh, ex excel at knocking down enemy aircraft at close range. On a heavy hitter during um, during a shooting attack made within three inches and one five power dodge attack, any success counts as a crit. Next up, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna big the big boy the big the big one, the Yukas, because they didn't have because the M M M one ten pilot was uh, pilot well, Ace was on sale, unfortunately. Well, it's like a Junkers. Uh, twin engine bomber destroyer. In other, in other words, it's an interceptor, it's a heavy fighter. Uh, firepower two, really only two. That's what the Mustang has, and it only has 50 cals. This probably has cannons. Uh, a skill or maneuverability, whatever. One, six speed, that's actually really respectable, but then again, twin engine stuff is fast anyway, most of the time in World War II. Multi-engine two, heavy hitter, turret. Oh, has a turret. Of course it does. Junkers 88. Junkers 88 C was one of the most successful heavy fighters used by the Luftwaffe. It was a conversion of the Junkers 88 bomber with its usual glass house nose replaced by a shard middle, a shard, a shorted, a solid frame uh, fairing mounted a formidable battery machine guns and a cannon. Oh, I'm looking at it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, the Jun the Junkers idiot C worked in multiple d roles during the war, including ground attack as a heavy fighter, bomber destroyer, and intruder, maritime long range escort, and strike aircraft. It does it all. But these guys over here, it goes to everything. How does it stack up with the How does it stack up with the with its, with its teammate? It's sort of its teammate has for far farther than its teammate, but it does not turn. It does not turn. It does not do the turning thing. That, that, that's something it does not do. Okay.
Oh, all the cards are fine. <laughs> None of them are damaged. I mean, that's more luck than anything, but still. He's fought Walter Butchers, or Bo Bochars. Bo Bochers, one of those. Uh, multi engine aircraft only. Uh, six, six skill one plus firepower, eight skill cards. Giant killer, dive master. Oh, let's go fight. Unfortunately, there are no bombers for him to kill. In the game so far. Just jets. Giant killer. Some aces could make uh, could make taking down multi-engine plane look easy. Okay, that's what they mean by giant. They don't mean they don't mean bombers. And airships. But anyway. On a nice shooting at a disadvantaged multi-engine plane, a crit will affect two boom crits. On the target aircraft in, instead of one. Oh, jeez. He, he basically knows how to aim on two engine bombers and not die. Or two uh, two engine uh, two engine planes. Like, although, what, what would he be facing in a game so far where he could actually use that card if you're playing by sides? If you're playing by axis versus allies, or even or even faction versus or even nation versus nation. Um, a mosquito. I I think mosquitoes in the game. I don't know about the rest. I don't know. I know P38 isn't. I don't know why he will be facing where he could actually use that card so far. Uh, Dive Master. We saw that one already. Heavy Hitter. We saw that one already. Yeah, he basically excels at he's excels at diving and killing the big things. Killing, well, killing twin engine stuff. Last up is the Corsair. What does his teammate look like? Oh well, he matches the Mustang. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know the Corsair was that close to the Mustang. I thought the Corsair had better. Um, I thought the Corsair personally had better turning uh, than anything, <laughs> than every than everything. I didn't know I had the same speed. Jo <laughs> Great dive, robust. F U Corsair. Yeah, for you, Corsair. Um, formidable, uh, formidable, I have no idea how to say that. I never had an idea how to say that. I'm just my first time ever saying it. Um, Vout F4U Corsair was originally designed to be a care based fighter, but to simplify logistics, the Corsairs went to the US Marine Corps, so many were land, uh, so many were land based instead. Flying from, oh, we got, we got bu bumps because it's a metal plane and it bumped into the card. No, oh, that sucks. Easy. Flying from rough tropical airfields in tropical conditions, rough, rough island airfields in tropical conditions, proved no impending for Corsairs, and early battles over, Gua over Guadalcanal soon proved their superiority over the Japanese opponents. The Corsair was an extremely effective and popular fighter with over 12,000 belts before her projection ceased in 1945. 43. No, 1953. Jeez, why was that so hard? And he started doing and he started production in 1943. And then last, last the Corsair cards. He spot Philip Kirkwood. I think we can actually pronounce. Uh, single engine, more or less anyway. Uh, single engine fighters only. Extra firepower, cool in their fire. Set them up. You go there. Uh, set up. Set, uh, set them up. An ace encourages the comrades to attack when a friendly plane within six inches of the ace of uh, the ace shoots at any aircraft. The plane three hundred does one plus, plus one zero pod skill in solving the shooting attack. Yeah, I think I think blue means pod skill. Cool under fire. The ace knows how uh, how to keep a cool head under fire in reaction to an ace. Being him all shooting. If the attack is dodged, is best way you know. Boom, crit is applied. That would actually be pretty good on Walter. But anyway, if we turn the camera, look at our planes. Let's get you guys in here. We are. Oh, I knew that felt like. Left the uh, left the thing. Come on. Why are they so sketchy? Why are they so sketchy? Why are they so sketchy? Like I can't, like you can't pick this thing up. At least not by the plane. 
You probably can pick it up by the base, which is what you're supposed to be doing anyway, but it's kind of hard to because the base is weird. Here, see how hard that is? There we go. My little planes I have out right now. But if anything, I think I think they should have just done resin. To be fair, I think they should have just kept it with resin. Oh, uh, not kept, but I think they should have done everything in resin because resin actually holds up well and actually works really, really nice. Plastics are bendy and you can't fix them. The metals are bendy, but you can fix them. Uh, metals also probably require a, uh, an extra base, which is sucky. Um, But if anything, out of all of this, the only thing that's really worth it is this guy. Uh, it is, it is, there is a blank because it is not bendy. It's not bendy even, uh, even though, I mean, the packing leaves damaged cards, which is no, 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 no. That's not, no, that's bad. That's bad. That's a no, no. You don't, you don't let your cards be damaged. If your packaging gets damaged, if your plane gets jostled around, even if your plane breaks, at least the card is safe because the card you cannot fix. Or to fix broken card, you get another one. But if they're all broken, how can you get another one? You know. Whereas broken plane, you would just super glue the thing, or plastic glue the thing, depending if it's plastic, resin, or or metal. So yeah, I got I gotta say, even the aces aren't really worth it. I mean, they're for the price I paid, which was on sale. They're worth it enough. Uh, they're worth it for gameplay. But even to, but not to collect, not to collect, not for the model's actual worth, which if you're, which this is a miniatures game, models are half the fun. It's the mod, it's the models and the rest of the game. It's 50-50. Models are a big part, then the rest of the game. Um, like as I treat them, it is zero percent models at the moment, and right now it's completely all game. So the game has to be good. The rules have to be perfect. Or near perfect, they're really good, really, really good. And I won't ship it until it actually, until, until I get everything the way I want it. I am in no rush, except money wise, but until, that's the money wise, but uh, other than that. But the rules are in order for Blood Earth guys, which you didn't know they were in order. Uh, but the rules are in order, but the models are not, the models are all bendy. And to case in point, this is $15. And look how not, and look how detailed it is, it has a nice texture, uh, you can use it right off the bat, I mean, you think you can use the plastic ones off the bat too, or even the metal, even the metal, these guys, because let's face it, I make a standard camouflage in that era, uh, for, well, a, a standard camouflage for a saber or a MIG was silver anyway, was, was unpainted, so which I want to actually reflect in this, but to clean it up and then just give it stripes, uh, give it navy blue stripes with gold accents, um, basically the, the colors I want, but keep it in that nice metallic condition, so we have to make. But look how much, let's grab Philip Cookwood, because he's one of the better examples, Nick, and then zoom in, and then while we focus, there we go, and like look just how much nicer and actually bigger, uh, this model for the war for the war, uh, for the wall of tanks miniatures game by Gale Force uh, by Gale Force Nine is compared to the uh, compared to the Mustang, and every single one of the models from Gale Force Nine have an absolutely perfect no issues. So I don't I I I don't know what's going on with this game because an another game. That has no issues. Uh, I, because I, I, this is the only game I'm, co I'm collecting right now that has issues with how with the model quality. Uh, even Victory at Sea has no issues for me. So I, I really don't, I really don't know what's going on here. But anyway, so let's wrap things up, and I'll be right back because, in, because uh, we're about time out. So yeah, uh, let's wrap things up. So this is going to be an overview. Well, I just did an overview for my haul, and that basically is nothing's worth it except the god and the dice. The dice are perfect because, like, they, like, the dice are a, 
amazing. I love the I love these dice. These dice are absolutely fantastic. I love them. Um, the dice are by far the best thing coming out of coming out of Warler games so far. Um, the book for the book for the book came damaged a little bit, uh, but the book for Blood Real Skies was good. It had good rules. It was short. It was sweet. It was really nice. Um, and that's basically it. The rest I would not. The rest I would not get unless you want to play with those rules. But then again, there are other ways. There are other means. Um, but if you want, but if you want to actually collect Blood Red Skies for the miniatures, I want to do it. Uh, there's another game. Uh, there's another flying game. Uh, what's it called? I uh, I don't know. But there's another flying miniature game. I'm sure you can find it. Look it up on Miniature Market. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to collect those, but nothing came out for them recently. Uh, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll collect those, I'll, I'll collect some of those too and see, and see what it's like. And also that game has way more, uh, aircraft, including aircraft from World War One and bombers from World War One and World War II. Um, and I'll, and I, and the only reason why I started doing, uh, why I did World War why I did Blurred Skies first is because I like, I just like, I really like, I really like, I really like its aesthetic. And I like the fact, and I, and it was on sale. It, it was on sale, let's be honest. You know, so I like to make it like that. Um, but anyway. Oh, right, that'd be it for today. Thanks for watching. Do, we do appreciate you watching on this. But if you lost me, watch me on me if you were to check out the rest of the stuff, the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as various videos for channel, which is space for channel, watching these videos. And watch these videos, engage content in it, reproduce it, and by sharing friends on your still. All right, the bear for sale. And one last time. Oh, that's fail. There you go. And that bear for sale. Thanks for watching. And I guess. See you. See you. And second.